Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkerson, I'm from IGS Electronics and today I am going to be updating my uh, Sivarex WP231 uh, modules of firmware. I've been playing around with my firmware for my controller for a, for a bit and I noticed that my firmware is out of date. Well, not much out of date, it's at, at 3.1. Two one or something like that. Uh, so I decided to uh, update my firmware version for as as, as we as humans every now and then uh, updates there uh, for, because this controller specifically is designed to comply with all the legal aspects of it to make sure that uh, it complies with it. So I uh, it is a good idea that you keep up the firmware version, make sure all the bugs and anything else that has been going on is the Siemens has discovered with the controller has been fixed and you are well up to date with it. And today I'm gonna to show you how it's done. So uh, you will need a Siva, uh, Siva 2 V7, unfortunately for this to do that. And you will have to tinker a little bit with your windows to get your uh, communications, uh, basically the firmware to be able to happen. You have to do some tinkering within the windows. I'll show you some tricks and tips how to get it quickly going unless you want to think of it a lot but i'll show you how it's done so if you missed out a few other videos we already did for this uh, module uh, where we connected uh, the hmi and uh, used uh, basically did a wiring video and things like that do check them out in a uh, plus, uh, s200 series plc's playlist so yes that's what we're going to do today without further ado let's get started <music> So here we are. So once you click at the link in the description below that says firmware Sivarex VP231, I will take you to this page and this is where you can find all the updates for this uh, particular module that we are working on today. So uh, you do need to be registered with Siemens to be able to download this file. So do make sure that, that is the case. As you can say, the update to firmware from firmware uh, to 3.2 point one is recommended so that's exactly what we're going to be doing and also you have information here how to do it so uh once you open them out it's, it's only about a few pages in here this part in here is fairly easy straightforward but when it comes down to windows this is where things start getting tricky so this part tftp client uh turning on that one that's no problem but after that because my windows is windows 10 maybe something is different i could not find any of this in my um uh, uh, when they come down to down Windows firewalls, so they cannot find any of these settings. So I just thought, you know what, I don't know. I just turned Windows firewall and Windows Defender off, and the problem disappeared, and I was able to update my uh, uh, card itself, the actual CVRX module. So if you're having this problem, disable the Windows firewall, and you should be good to go. So once you've done that, the file has been downloaded, it will come in into a uh, 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 WP, uh, was that WinRAR? In my, in my in my case, it's WinRAR, but zip file. As you can see, there is two files in there, which is completely doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. But the main one you need to uh, yeah, uh, concentrate is this guy in here. He's got the two files in there. One is the firmware. That's the one we more or less need. Need, and also a couple of things for Seven Tool to add. The language goes into data file, and Sivarex goes into a firmware file. So. Uh, we're going to show that in a minute how that's done. So, uh, and that is actually, we're just going to go straight into our computer. And you can find your uh, program file in your, so Siva tool in your program files. You don't necessarily need to do that. Languages updates, languages and firmware. I'm not really sure what this guy firmware does in here, but I added it in there already. And that's a sort of, I think it updates the, uh, the extra, so maybe something new they've done a firmware within the Siva tool. So not Siva X, but it's within Siva tool, this would do. So, uh, so yeah, that's where you add your files. So once we start up a Siva tool, once we've done that, we are able to start up Siva tool. And as you can see, I have two options here now at the beginning. I had only uh, for this particular module, it was 3.1.1, but now it's 3.2.2. I cannot perform firmware update with 3.2.2. I don't know why, it just comes up with the error. So uh, I just go straight back to the older version, which which uh, were older firmware, and it seems to have absolutely no problem with it. So that's the one we are gonna be going with. Another thing what we need to do, because my controller is connected to the uh, uh, S200 series PLC, so we need to make sure the PLC is in start mode. 
So what we're going to do in here, quickly activate my, uh, it's go online, activate my, uh, uh, well, stop my PLC. So here we go. So we should be able to stop my PLC there. Here we go, the PLC stop. And also, in case you're not sure that the IP address has been changed for your Civarex uh, module, you can find that out in here in, in your TI portal. You will be able to, because my, uh, obviously, in the, uh, connect your... Uh, uh, Ethernet cable to it to make sure you're able to discover it. My one is all oh, my my K Ethernet's on HMI and everything's connected via the switch. So uh, as you can see, oh HMI is not even connected yet. So as you can see, uh, my my it tells you my, that my IP address is uh, this guy in here, which is a 21, which is the old default address, which is great. We don't have to change anything. So uh, that's how you would find your IP address. So from there on, if we go back to the manual, where's the manual? Is it in here? No, wrong one. I think we just closed the manual, aren't we? Ah, so let's go back quickly. Manual, open up in here. Uh, if you look at the manual, the, what Siemens does say, it is advising for you to do the backup. It doesn't mean it's not good. When it does the firmware update, it doesn't really it doesn't really change much of the settings in your controller, but things can go wrong. So it says down here, if the module stays in error, we detect some error data after rebooting. You need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, do the backup file. So we, that's what we're going to do. We're going to back it up to so make sure uh, we have that option. So here we are. So, ooh, that was a bit slow. So uh, let's go online. So if you come, uh, I'm not going to go through much of a, uh, information in here, how to go online. I have made video already for that. So do check out if your online doesn't happen. So do check out video in the, in the playlist of uh, where we played how to connect to the Civil tool. So uh, as you can see, this is the data in a controller. So that's what we want to pump out. So uh, we're going to go for communications and then we're going to receive all the data out and let him do that now so uh and then pump out it should sometimes it takes long sometimes it doesn't it's depending on what he's trying to do but you know when everything's been done starts again here we go so all, most of the stuff it becomes uh in here uh what they call black so but as you can see my status bar sales stays is still collecting some data so it hasn't done it yet so we have to wait for that to finish there we go, that's done. So uh, from there on, what we're gonna do, we, 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 can now, we can now go offline, we don't need to be online. So, uh, come on. Oh, the thing is getting slow again. Offline, please. Damn, that was, so that, that was slow. When it gets that slow, guys, restart the whole software and start going again so uh as you can see in here that's my file what we're going to do we are just going to go in the files and then save as we're just going to basically just back up the file so i already done that before so here we go there's my file just save it for a rainy day so you have all the settings changed saved so once you've done that you're pretty much ready to go so uh what we're going to do in here there's a little file to, uh, file for download so let's click on that one and go and find that file where we stored that firmware. And I know I left that one in my program files. It's already showed before. Again, it doesn't have to be there. I just put it in there. Yeah, just because of it. I just like to keep things so I know where they are. So they're all over the place. So there we go, my civil tool. Firmware. And open the file. And once you did that, just literally just click to start the transfer. I want you to start a transfer, as you can see, the transfer status is uh, start up, and if, if it all connects to it and all good to go, it will say online, and it will uh, transfer the firmware. So, let's pause here, wait till it's finished. Almost done, come on. Here we go, the firmware has been updated, no problem. So what we need to do now, we need to restart the controller, and let's hope everything one well and no errors are popping up so here we go let's pump it up so what a while we're starting up the controller what i'm going to do i'm going to restart see what tool as well just make sure we have a nice smooth run and by judging by the controller we have absolutely no errors but this time we're going to open at 3.2.2 because it works very well with uh, 
with, without trying to do it so uh, firmware update. So come on, that was a bit longish. Ooh, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. So uh, so one thing we're gonna do. Let's check if everything went all right. Let's go online. So, uh, so here we go. So that popped up, and as you can see, my firmware version is on this side now. Shows a 3.2.2. As you can see, these are the, these dates in here. 3.2.2, and the firmware version has been updated. And as we don't have any errors, we do not have to do any backup. But if you do, do make sure that you are uh, online. First of all, to be able to open a file, just go in the offline. <sighs> Once it's going on offline, as it's taking its time, there you go, go in offline, and then you'll be able to uh, reach your file and so on and so on. Open, open up the file. And one last thing, you need to make sure that you are in a service mode and, and you can get service mode when you're back online. So, uh, and that's just then that's pretty much just go into communications and just then uh, send all data. So, and that's ladies and gentlemen, we'll do for this video. Hopefully it's helping you out. It's giving you a good idea. Most definitely, I had a bit of a challenge with this, especially when it came down to uh, Windows and trying to work out why 3.2.2 uh, 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 Civil 2 wasn't wasn't actually uh, able to update the firmware. I still don't know why that is the case. So hopefully, if Siemens is watching, do leave me in a uh, comment below and tell me where I've gone wrong. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this has been helpful and gives you good ideas. So uh, so yeah, and uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like what we're doing here. And don't forget to ask questions if you do have any questions and I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.